Well, the uh, air in London is a killer. Uh, more than uh, 9,000 Londoners die prematurely because of the bad quality air. There are children with underdeveloped lungs because of the bad quality air. Older people have all sorts of illnesses from dementia, to heart disease because of the bad quality air. Uh, and we've got to clean that up. So we're really keen to move people away from pollutant diesel taxis to clean electric uh, taxis. Uh, one of the ways we're doing that is by giving taxi drivers grants to move from diesel to electric, but also rapid charging points. We now have in London uh, more than 100 Transit for London rapid charging points. Actually, the only city in Europe with more rapid charging points than us is Oslo. And my ambition is to move uh, polluting diesel vehicles away from diesel to cleaner electric. Well, I, I published a transport strategy recently and the, uh, the plan is to move people to walk, uh, cycle, we use public transport to 80% of London in the next 25 years. One of the ways we're doing that is we've appointed London's first ever walking and cycling commissioner. And that's to make sure we think about designing the roads so it's uh, uh, inviting to walk or cycle, making sure the junctions are safe, making sure we have more segregated cycle lanes, making sure we have more quiet ways. And it's really important we uh, do so. The reality is that people will still need to use taxis to get from A to B, uh, particularly those who are disabled. And that's why we're trying to make sure they're zero emission capable. We need the government support as well, and that includes we need a Clean Air Act. Half of the uh, emissions come from transport. The other half come from housing, from construction, from the river. Uh, and that's why it's really important the government joins us in trying to tackle this problem. Obviously. We've lost Pat. Come on, Pat. You do all the work. This, this is very nice. It's your baby. <laughs> I, I, I live out in Kent, so I drive in on, yeah, on the yeah, same. Yeah. Once I'm in the zone, so then I switch off to EV. Yeah. I can more or less do my whole shift on that. So then drive back using petrol. And then I can drive back using petrol or plug in for 20 minutes on that rapid yeah. charger. And then what I do is then open these both up, plug those in, and then it starts doing a check to make sure all the systems are okay, safety checks. Right. And then this, turn this into a step. So you just pull it out about there. Again, it's, it's in seconds. To me, please. Thank you. So this is a really modern car. It has um, Wi-Fi enabled. You can charge your mobile phone in there. It's of course fully accessible. If you're in a wheelchair, it's easy to get in and out of. It's a it's a very comfortable ride, and it's quiet because it's electric. So I think people who are using it will really notice a difference.